Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the love reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's get right into your reading, Cancer. Let's see what spirit has. Now your card is coming out right at the center. Uh, the chariot card, feeling very strong, feeling very empowered, uh, moving forward in projects or um, going towards some type of goal when it comes to your love and romance. Now, the obstacle here is the Five of Cups. Some of you guys dragging or feeling, um, dragging or feeling some type of emotion. I feel that this is very connected to the past. Um, yeah. So for some of you guys, you may have experienced um, some type of loss or some type of um, emotional turmoil that you're currently going through. The Seven of Wands does speak about uh, standing your ground and uh, not fearing um, what other people or what other people's opinions uh, have to do with in regards to relationships. For some of you guys, it could be like dealing with family that doesn't get along or your partner side of the family that doesn't make it easy for you. For others of you, it could just represent um, having to stand your ground when it comes to your partnership. Now... I do see here, for those of you guys that are currently married or in a long-term committed relationship, um, the obstacle here with the Five of Cups, I feel that is feeling a bit unfulfilled in the relationship that you're in. Uh, for some of you guys, uh, especially those of you guys that are currently single, it could be frustration about feeling that at this point in your life you probably had some type of idea of how your life would be when it comes to love uh, it could be the frustration of not finding a person that is right or not being in a relationship it could be you know sadness about that but what they are telling you is that um, unionship and partnership and commitment is in the horizon for you but you got to detach yourself from this type of this type of energy Remember, what we put out is what we get. So if you're constantly thinking or constantly reminding yourself how lonely you are, you're only creating that for your future. Therefore, instead of, you know, bringing people towards you, what you're doing is you're bringing situations that continuously keep putting you or feel, making you feel like you are alone, like you don't have emotional support. Um, now, for those that are married, like I said, it could be uh, some type of turmoil in regards to family dynamic. Uh, and it, it, for some, it could have been a loss. It could have been uh, someone within the family that passed away um, and still go, trying to go through that emotional turmoil or that emotional loss. But what they're telling you here is that with the Knight of Swords, I do see a lot of kind of when you're so emotional that something that anyone tells you can trigger you and like you snap at them and what they're telling you is cancer relax take a deep breath acknowledge that you don't feel in control of your emotions right now and that's okay um, by suppressing it or ignoring it or pretending that you don't feel a little bit out of place with your emotions you're only creating this volcano so you're w literally walking you know a ticking time bomb uh the more you acknowledge it the more you're understanding your emotions uh cancer and, and this is necessary because i do see a bit of lashing out now you do have the magician card here and the magician is speaking about again what i just said bringing into manifestation that what you're wanting and it starts with your emotions so you need to understand that you know if you're constantly putting yourself in a negative vibration or for those of you guys that are single, constantly reminding yourself of how lonely you are. That's only what you're bringing into your life more of. So it's not about focusing on the lack of. It's about getting excited about what's to come. Put your energy out there and understand and remember that, you know, the more positive you are, the better your chances are of bringing that person that, that is more ideal for you, uh, bringing them to you quicker. So again, don't frustrate yourself, Cancer, if you feel like there's no love or there's no romance. And for those of you guys that are currently married, again, be patient with yourself. Acknowledge that maybe you don't have, you know, um, emotional control right now because you are a bit emotional and that's okay. But 
acknowledging it is going to help you be more in control of it instead of suppressing it and you know just waiting for that you know unnecessary moment where someone upsets you and then you just explode on them um, be patient with yourself cancer now you also do have here the six of wands and this is your advice card there is um there is feeling of empoweredness or feeling more like yourself again and what they're telling you here is that in march there's going to be a situation that arises where for some of you guys it could be that um for those of you guys that are in a long-term committed relationship it could be that there's some type of invitation there's some type of um rendering or reaching out to you but i feel that this has more to do with pretty much mending fences so again if you are dealing with a situation that uh, some side of the family of your partner is not very positive towards you i feel that this is getting resolved or they will be putting effort to trying to resolve it in march for you um so again just be patient now those of you guys that are currently single the Six of Wands does signify believing in yourself and knowing your self-worth. Uh, again, detach yourself from negative energy. I do see being able to attain or being able to receive uh, some type of offering. It could be love offering. Uh, but your fear at the moment is that you're going to be stuck in this situation forever. Uh, and I know forever is a very strong word, but that's the energy that I'm sensing. So again, the only way to detach yourself from that happening is to pretty much trick your mind or move yourself, remove yourself from that type of energy and put energy towards uh, optimistic, uh, optimistic um, results or uh, putting your energy towards positive manifestations. So the best way of doing it is instead of focusing on what you don't have uh, cancer when it comes to partnerships and relationships, put your energy towards how it's going to be when you have that partnership that you're wanting or that you're looking for. How are you going to feel? How are you going to, what is it that you're bringing to the table? What is it that you're you know, going to offer that partnership to make it stronger? That type of energy is going to help you shift your energy towards positiveness. Now, your next card here is the King of Cups. So this is your energy. I feel that for a lot of you cancers, this is, February is going to be an emotional uh, month for you. Uh, for some of you guys, it could be mourning the loss of a relationship. Uh, for some, it could be like having the first Valentine uh, that you're not in a relationship. For others of you, it could just be a remembrance of past relationships and nostalgia. But again, in the positive, what's, what's moving forward is situations that are going to be arising that are making pathway towards your future. And you are in control, Cancer, even though you may feel emotionally that you're not, you are in control. And it's how you put uh, or the effort that you put into what you think about the most. Remember, what you think about the most is what you bring about. So again, uh, take ownership of that and really put your intentions and your energy towards what you're wanting instead of focusing on the lack of, okay? So I hope you guys enjoyed this reading, like, share, and comment, and we'll see each other soon. Bye.